Welcome to this short tutorial showing how we can import a DXF or a DWG into Magnet Field software. In this example, we're using Magnet Field version 2.71. So I'm creating a new job in Magnet Field. I don't want to import the code library. I'm setting up the configurations for the instruments I'm using. And then um, I'm going to determine what coordinate system I'm using. Well, I'm using a local grid, so I don't need the UK OS TNO2 grid. And then we can green tick and uh, create the job. And now we're going to import the DXF DWG. So I'm going to use the command exchange and from file. Uh, there's a variety of uh, options here in the data types. You can uh, import just the points or lines from DXF or DWG, but I prefer the multiple option at the bottom. Again, format wise, you can choose uh, DXF or DWG. Importantly, on this screen, you've got the option to go into settings. And uh, one of the most important settings here is the loader's background option. If you tick this box and load as a background image, then the image of the DXF only will appear on the screen. In other words, it won't load all the line or point information. And you, to set out, you actually tap this, the map screen, which then makes that entity live for setting out. So it makes it more efficient from a memory point of view. So I'm going to try and show you the differences between the two uh, options. So first of all, without background image ticked. So we're going to the next screen, which allows us to browse to a DWG. Um, just reaffirmation there of the coordinate system. There are 3,000 lines in this job. And then it's asking us to give the, the lines a name or a number. Uh, we can just assume it's one. And all the data will then be imported. So to stake this out, we'll go to the map view, and you'll see that all this information is imported as a DXF DWG. And what we can do uh, is to stake out, we can use uh, certain tools from the map view. This includes the option here to create points. So if I create points on the line, it's line width that you can see on the screen at the moment. For example, a midpoint on the line, I can then snap to a line and the software will create a point for me to stake out. So I can stake out point number 1000. So that's how we can uh, create points from the CAD model. So now what I'm going to do is create a new job and show you the difference between loading all the lines as we have done here um, and uh, loading them as a background image. So back to the home screen, create a new job, call it background image. We should be able to just accept this job and to create it, it will remember the settings from the previous job. And then exchange from file settings. We're going to tick load as background. And then browse the same job. Again, reaffirmation of the uh, coordinate system in use. Same number of lines, which imports a lot quicker if you notice and because it's a background image in other words it's not taking up so much memory close that screen go back to the map screen and you'll notice it's completely it looks a lot lighter the information if we then zoom into uh, what seems to be a, uh, a grid uh, for uh, of steelwork you can see that the uh, the line work is still there but you have to actually tap on the line or select the line um, and then uh, hold on that line to allow it to be staked out so we can stake out the line working that way. So the element is made live as you tap on the screen. So a lot more efficient use of the memory. Uh, in addition, we can still use these same um, snap tools, if you like, and creation tools. So again, if I wanted a midpoint or an end point to a line, I could uh, snap, snap this icon or click this icon and snap on the line and it would create a point on the corner or the node of those two lines and then I could stake that out. And that concludes the short tutorial on importing DXF DWG into Magnet Field.